Hello, good morning. How are you all? I am fine. Hope the same from your side. Today we will discuss how we can change from ordinary to extraordinary. Every one of us wants to be extraordinary, isn't it? We don't want to remain as ordinary people. Am I right? Daily we speak, we try to become something extraordinary. That is why you can say or you can see many people dressing something different, doing something different because they want to be extraordinary. So this process from ordinary to extraordinary is not so easy. It needs a lot of time, persistence, hard work. So we will learn now how we can change from ordinary to extraordinary. Extraordinary means different from others. Someone, something great. You have to achieve something. Then only you will become extraordinary. So to become ordinary, first thing is, you should have a definite goal. Clear-cut goal. When you are having your clear-cut goal, Remember that your goal should not be negotiable. Otherwise, some people, okay, today they will think I will become this, tomorrow something else, day after tomorrow something else. Don't do like that. When your goal is completely decided, then focus completely on your goal. Absolutely on your goal. Nothing else. Don't focus anywhere else. Otherwise, you might be having people talking about this, that and all. No, don't pay attention. You will be completely focusing on your goal. And while focusing on your goal, you are knowing you have to work hard. You have to attain knowledge about that. At the same time, you have to invest your time on what is in your control, whatever things you can change to help to achieve your goal. Otherwise, don't keep on gossiping on the things which are not related to us or what we can't do about the government, about the government policies, about COVID, this and that. No, we can't do anything on that. That is not in our control. So, we will invest our time only on the things which are under our control, which I can change, which I will do. So, completely on that. And when you work on the things which you can control, you are knowing your confidence also goes on increasing. After this, persistence is very, very important. Why persistence means continuity, working continuously. Otherwise, what many of us do, we try it for once, twice, thrice, then we leave it off. Don't do like that. Look at the different ways. If in one way you can't achieve it, look at the other ways. Find out. Keep on continuously working on that. And mind you, when you are working on any project, apply your attention, your concentration, on one thing at a time. Otherwise, we are having many people who talk about multitasking. I can do 10 things at a time. No, you can't do like that. If you want to do perfectly well, 
you have to completely concentrate on one task at a time one thing at a time that is why it is very very important you concentrate completely on one goal which is very very important when you are successful in that the later goals there is not much work to work on that naturally you can achieve them then don't waste your time discussing more about the problems don't worry about the problems don't discuss about the problems don't think about the problem but think about the solution how i can solve it if i do in this way how i can if i do in that other way how i can do it so always think about the solution and not about the problem even i have told you before as well each and every problem has got a solution each and every question has got a answer what we do generally is we linger on the problems we are not bothered or we are not concentrating on the solution so what we should do is we should not linger on the problem but we should think about the solution so solution is very very important and when you are working on anything you may have so many people around you who talk about you that what is this this is waste of time why are you wasting your time can you do this you should have done the other thing better hundred ways don't pay any attention to them again and again i am telling you god has given us two years why one to listen and want to leave out whatever unwanted things people talk about so don't be bothered about the people what they speak about it what they tell instead instead of that you completely immerse on the project to what you are doing completely think over it and work on it it becomes easier for you because of your concentration and because of your focus unwanted things you delete forever forever and ever you can delete them or if anything is not important now but later on it can be of use then you can postpone it and even you can avoid the things which are not at all necessary so if we follow all these things in our life that is to have a goal then to work on that with consistency and with full focus huh? working one thing at a time if you do all these things we can easily move from ordinary to extraordinary means our work will be great that the people will pay attention at you they will look at you they will ask you okay tell me how you have done this that is why we can move or we can change our life from ordinary to extraordinary okay then today itself let us decide and work on the ways how we will change ourselves from ordinary to extraordinary so that 
the whole world will pay attention at us not only pay attention we will be of some help to other humanity as well when we become extraordinary we can easily influence others we can help them for their betterment okay have a nice day